Determine whether the mean value theorem can be applied to the function on the closed interval from A to B. If the mean value theorem can be applied, find all values of C in the open interval A to B such that the derivative at point C is equal to F sub B minus F sub A over B minus A. Now we have the given value of our function of X log base 2 x and this graph when you graph this function is continuous so it satisfies the mean value theorem condition and the second condition of mean value theorem it should be differentiable so let's get the derivative of the function x log base 2 x now log base 2 x we can change it into ln x over ln 2 so meaning our f of x is equal to x ln x over ln 2 now this is a product rule so our a of x is x and the derivative of x is 1 and our g of x is equal to ln x over ln 2 and we can rewrite this as 1 over ln2 because 1 over ln2 is constant and multiplied by ln x and if you remember the derivative of ln u is equal to u prime over u and our u is x and our u prime is 1 so the derivative of this is equal to 1 over ln2 1 over x which is the derivative of ln x now then we will apply the product rule for these two uh, factors of the function so derivative is equal to a sub x multiplied by g sub x plus g sub x multiplied by derivative of a sub x so our a sub x is x and the derivative of g sub x is 1 over ln2 multiplied by 1 over x plus our g sub x is ln x over ln2 and derivative of a sub x is 1 so to simplify this we can have x over x ln2 plus ln x over ln2 so x over x, this should be equal to 1. So we have 1 over ln2 plus ln x over ln2. Or our derivative is equal to 1 plus ln x over ln2. Now the second thing that we need to do is we need to get our uh, f of c. So our f of c or derivative of point C is equal to F sub B minus F sub A over B mi minus A. So we need to get first our F sub B, which is 2. The B is 2. So substitute in our given equation, which we change it into this. So X ln X over 2. So this will be 2 multiplied by ln 2 over ln 2 substituting x is equal to 2 to our given equation so 2 ln 2 over ln 2 is equal to 1 so meaning f sub 2 is equal to 2 now our f sub a where in our a is equal to 1 so we can substitute 1 in our equation x ln x over uh, ln 2 so this will be equal to 1 multiplied by ln 1 over ln 2 and we all know that ln1 is equal to 0, so meaning f sub 1 is equal to 0. Now, applying the formula of the derivative of point C, so we have f sub B minus f sub A over B minus A, and our f sub A is equal to, uh, f sub B is equal to 2, and our f sub A is 0, so we have, 2 minus 0 over our b is 2 and our a is 1 so this will be equal to 2 so now we can uh, equate our 
derivative of the function which is equal to derivative of point C to find our point C. So the derivative of the function is 1 plus ln x over ln 2 which is this and derivative at the point C is equal to 2 then we will do cross multiply so we have 1 plus ln x is equal to 2 ln 2 now if you remember your properties of natural logarithm the coefficient is the exponent of the natural logarithm so this will be ln 2 to the second power which is equal to 1 plus ln x is equal to ln 4. Now if we will raise both sides to e to remove the ln, so this will be e to the ln 4. Now if you remember your uh, properties of exponent, remember if you have uh, x to the 1 multiplied by x to the 2, this will be x to the 1 plus 2, so this is x to the 3. So that is the properties of exponent. So meaning the 1 plus ln x here will be e to the 1 multiplied by e to the ln x. Then e and ln cancel out, so this is 4, so e and ln cancel out, so this means we have uh, e multiplied by x is equal to 4. Then divide e both sides. So we have x is equal to 4 over e, which is around 1.47, which is in between our uh, interval of 1 to 2.